everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Ashley at the Yarn Barn NC here on YouTube and in today's video we are going to be doing something very very exciting. We are going to be taking a trip to Joann's and then we're going to do a quick little crochet with me. I don't know why I said quick because this is probably going to be like one of the largest projects I've ever done but we are going to go to Joann's pick up some yarn for this certain project we are going to be doing. We are going to be making an Anchor the Octopus which I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram. He has really taken over Instagram right now. It is the really large octopus. You'll get to see it later on the video if you don't know what I'm talking about, but I will be linking the pattern down below. But I'm very excited. I don't really have any colors that I want to make this out of. So I thought I could take you guys along to Joann's with me. We are going to pick out some really cool colors, maybe even a few extras because, you know, I'm going. I'm going to buy more yarn than what I'm supposed to. But we're going to go pick out some really cool colors. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like a green or a bluish. I'm definitely going to pick out a variegated color. And from what I read in the pattern, we're going to need two skeins of the main body color. And then we're going to need one of like an accent color for, the, I don't, the tentacles. I don't know what the actual term is, but it's for the tentacles. But I'm very excited. We're going to go ahead and get going. Yeah, we're going to make, probably make up stop for coffee on the way there and then we're gonna go to Joanne. Okay, so we just stopped and got a Dunkin' coffee. Luke, what kind of coffee did you get? We got a medium iced original coffee with four pumps of caramel swirl, four liquid cane sugar, and four cream. Oh my so it's god. Basically candy in the coffee. It's There's great. no coffee. I just found a normal <laughs> iced coffee and then we also got some donuts. So let's go to Joanne's. We have made it to the Joann's <laughs> Fabrics and Crafts. What are we here for? We're here for yarn. We're looking for some burnout blanket and we're gonna look for some variegated colors. I want either a green or a blue variegated. I think that's what we're going for. All right. We have a mission, we're on a mission. Okay, so I think this Joann's just restocked a whole bunch of colors because I'm either going for this blue or this really cool dab, it's not the dappled, it's the ombre. This is just regular burnette, so we're gonna go take a peek at the baby and then we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so he's trying to find the tentacle color right now. I think that one's too bright. If we did yellow, we'd have to do like this yellow. What about this yellow? That's not bad. See, I was thinking white, but you said that that white would be too basic. <laughs> So, We're I mean, working. so we found this one and I think this one's going to be really good. And then we'll use maybe this blue as for like the mini versions because I bought both of them. So we're thinking maybe make some mini ones too. Yes, I think so. Okay. And also I know that a lot of people have been talking about their Joann's having a lot of clearance um, burnet blanket and just random colors, but this one doesn't have any. I don't know if I'm just looking in the wrong place, but honestly, I'm not seeing any clearance yarn. Okay, so this is what we're ending up with. These are the actual um, octopus and then these are the accent colors. So this is a dark green. On camera, it looks more like a teal, but it's like their dark green. And then these blues with the gray accent. I think it's gonna look really good. What do you think? Good, yes. very nice. Yeah. Okay, we got all the yarn. And where are we headed to next? Mikhail's. Yes. So next, we are going, to, while we're out, we're going to go ahead to Michael's because I heard that all of their Sweet Snuggles variegated yarn is on clearance. Now, I'm kind of behind on the time frame on the clearance. It's been on clearance for a really long time. So I don't mind my, my hand is so freaking shaky. So we're going to go see if they have any left. I haven't really been using it, so I'm not like too pressed if I don't find any. But, you know, I might as well take take advantage of the clearance, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. You gotta save some money when you can. Exactly. More profit. So, let's go. So, we're here, but we have to wait for Mr. to finish placing his bet. We Who are we are, betting on? We are betting on Germany. Okay, okay. Germany versus Switzerland. Okay, so I'm currently not seeing any of the Sweet Snuggles variegated. I think this one is all out, which... You know, I'm not too upset about. I have some at home that I haven't used since I since it first came out, but we're just kind of looking around. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything because I don't really need anything. The only thing I came here for was the variegated, so I don't, I don't think we're gonna buy anything. I think this is the first time I'm leaving a store without buying yarn. Isn't Ever. that crazy? Ever. 
you know so i could be filming this right now but i would you're i had to drive i'm not a passenger princess today i'm the passenger princess <laughs> anyway i could be filming this right now <laughs> anyways <laughs> We just got done eating. We are headed home, so you can make your... I can make my anchor the Octo. Mr. Octo is gonna get made. His and, name is um, Anchor. Stay tuned, because we might, we might do a little, a little giveaway with the, uh, with the final results here. So uh, yeah, we'll okay, see. We'll see you at home. Okay, so we are back from Joann's. It is about three o'clock now, and I'm gonna start off with these two colors. This one's gonna be the tentacle color, and this one's this, the main body color. And we're gonna see how much we can get done today. I definitely do not think we'll be able to finish it all in one day because it's gonna take a while. But I'm also hoping that I'll have enough of each color to try and make a mini one, because I bought both the patterns in like a bundle, so I'm hoping I can do that, but I'm actually really excited to get started. I don't know where my crochet hook is, so I have to find that first, and then we'll get started. So yeah, I'll check in when I have um, some of the tentacles done. Okay, so we have one tentacle done, but I did it wrong. So all that, I have to frog, because I can't read. <laughs> so we haven't gotten any further, and this is probably gonna take a lot longer than what I thought. So I will check in when I actually do it correctly this time. So yeah. Two hours later. Okay, so it's been a little bit later. Um, I struggled figuring it out for a second, but now that I got it, we're good. We have one <laughs> tentacle bed. So I am already working on the second tentacle here. And I think I underestimated this just just the smallest bit like I looked over the pattern before we went to Joann's and I was like okay like this is gonna use a lot of yarn and you know I saw the tentacles and I'm like okay yeah those are bobble stitches but like right now like I kind of just struggle getting the yarn through the bobble stitches and I think it's just because I'm not used to working with brunette blanket I you know I started off using it when I first started plushies found sweet snuggles light and Parfait Chunky, and those have really been my go-to yarns since I started like actually doing this full time. So I am struggling right now to get this all done, but I'm actually having a great time. We're watching some YouTube, we're getting everything situated, and now we're on number two out of eight, and it's 4.30. So this might be a two-day project which i think i've said prior you know might even be longer than that because i feel like my hands are going to really not like me tomorrow so we might have to take a break tomorrow from crocheting at least with burnett blanket because my hands already hurt now that could be from doing the tentacle wrong like three times so I'm basically on tentacle like four with how many times I had to frog that. It was just like my stitches weren't lining up very well and I was just having a little hard time. But then I realized, Ashley, you're reading the pattern wrong. And I was reading the pattern wrong so many times. And I'm like, that was so not like me. I'm usually pretty good at that. And it was just, I'm like a little nervy to do this. Cause this is like one of like the biggest projects. So I'm going to, keep going. I'm going to keep learning about the England monarchy because that's been my most recent fascination with watching YouTube is learning about like their monarchy and like their history and stuff. I was watching Blondie Knots and she was like, I've just been really, I think it was like Maria Teresa she was obsessed with. I'm like, you know what? That sounds, that sounds like a lot of fun to learn about. So that's currently what I've been watching for the past like week. So I'm gonna keep crocheting and I will check in with you guys later. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so quick check in. I have all of these done. So now I just have to do this colored part on the back side of the tentacles and then all the tentacles are done. And I think that's like the really, you know, time consuming part. So I'm hoping that we have them all done here shortly. It's already six, so we'll have to see how much longer we can do this. One hour later. So we had about three and a half done. It is like seven o'clock now um, and my hands hurt. So I think that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to probably work on a few other things for the rest of the night just to 
you know, switch it up. I'm, you know, it's a big project and I'm not going to finish it all at one time. And I have a few little orders that I need to get done. So, um, we, that's where we're going to call it today for the octopus, but I definitely think we can finish it tomorrow. I think once we get through the tentacle, we should be good. The rest of like the head and everything shouldn't be too crazy hard, but that's where I'm calling it for today. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Day two. All right. So good morning. Actually, good afternoon. It is 12 o'clock. Um, we had a late start to the day. We had to run some errands, go to the post office, all that. I know my closet's open. I just, I don't feel like closing it. I don't feel like getting up and closing it. Um, so it is now the next day at 12 o'clock and we are getting back to making our octopus. Like I said, we had like three and a half of them done. And guys, I'm really hoping I can get this done today because I want to work on some other stuff, you know? I'm not used to projects taking this long. So we'll work on some other stuff later on, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on this octopus. Now I did buy other colors to make another one. And right now I I don't know if I wanna make another one like ever, ever. You know, I think it was a lot more than what I anticipated. Like I knew it was gonna be a lot and a large project, but I honestly think it's all the bobble stitches. There's a lot of bobble stitches and those hurt my hands. So we'll just, let's just get through this one. And then we'll talk about doing another one in like six months, maybe. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so it is now three o'clock. So a little bit later, um, and we have all of the tentacles done. That was awful. I was, I mean, it was fun, but still very repetitive. And I don't really wanna do that again anytime soon, but we have all the tentacles. And now for the next part of the pattern, we have to attach them all and make the head. Now I am a little confused. I started reading over the pattern, I'm a little confused. So we'll have to probably feel like a little trial and error thing with how to connect them all. You know, like, like when you see a pattern, you have like an idea in your head of how the pattern's gonna go. And this has not followed any ideas that I've had at all. It's a really creative pattern. I don't know how someone came up with this. It's awesome, but it's just not like at all how I thought in my head it was gonna go. So it's taking a little bit more time, but I'm actually having a little bit of fun. Not a lot of fun because the tentacles were not great, but but I think the rest of the body is gonna be really fun to put together and I'm very excited for the final project. These tentacles are huge. They're huge. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the body. Okay, so this might look a little crazy, but we have attached, we have attached all of the little tentacles. We have made the eyes. So next we have to make the big um, back of the head and then there's a little bottom piece that you create and you make and then you attach to the bottom. So right now it's saying that I need to stuff and then we're gonna make the back of the head. Um, but I am not gonna stuff right now cause there's literally no point in doing that right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started off with the back of the head, I think is what it's called, or it's just called the head, I guess. This is all I have left from the first skein. So this is gonna get us a good little portion of the head done and then we will see how much, I don't think we'll need much more of the second skein because literally all I need is this and then is the head and this will get us pretty far. And then the under part is going to be the dark green. So we honestly, I don't think we're going to get away with one skein, but very, very close. So let's go ahead and get started on the head. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time card. Okay. So we have crocheted the head and I forgot to show you guys this before I started sewing, but we also have the bottom piece. Now, I'm a little confused because it's not really telling me in the pattern. It just says to sew on the bottom. So like, and to make sure the bobbles on the bottom are connected are like, you know, in line with each other, but it's not really telling me like where to sew the bottom piece. So I'm just kind of going with it and hoping I'm sewing it in the right place because the pattern is not telling me where I'm supposed to be sewing it. I'm just hoping this is right. I, I'm not sure where it's supposed to go, but I'm thinking it's to cover up, like it, the bobbles go in line and all of it's supposed to connect. Like you're not supposed to see any of the other color. It's just supposed to be like a straight, like 
green into dark green so you're not supposed to see any of the other colors so that's what I'm going with and that's what I'm hoping that it's supposed to be I don't really know because the pattern's not telling me so we are once we finish up this we will be finishing stuffing it as well as long like along with the sewing of this on and then we will sew the head on now again it doesn't really tell me where i'm supposed to sew the head on i'm guessing i'm just supposed to go off of pictures which i'm not really awesome with i would like to be like okay you sew it through round this and this but we will just have to go with the flow and see where it looks the best. So we are finishing sewing this on. We're gonna sew the head on and then our little baby, it's not a little, it's not the, even the mini anchor, this is the big one. Our anchor, the octopus will be done. So I'm just kind of glad right now that I'm using Burnett Blanket because having to sew all this stuff on with all that shedding will just not be fun so i'm just kind of glad i'm but the burnout blanket has been killing my hands and this hook and this i'm just trying to get my needle through this stitch because there's really like nowhere for you it's not like we crocheted in the front loops or anything so you're just kind of now my now my needle will go through okay i'm stressing a little bit guys i i'm not gonna lie to you i am stressing because i've spent so much time on this and i hope it turns out really cute um but yeah i'm going to finish crocheting or finish doing this and then we will we'll show you what we end up with so yeah okay so we have the little bottom of the octopus sewn on and now it is just time to sew the head on now when i look at the the pattern with okay the double crochet is facing down so it's going to be like that i'm just does it matter which side i don't think so because my eyes are in the middle but i don't really think it's gonna fit all that oh wait we go up a little bit on the eyes okay because i was gonna say this hangs down too on the tentacles but we go up a little bit on the eyes and so this might need some ami sticks because that's a little that's a little much so I will go ahead and get started on sewing the head on. Um, so you guys know that I love my Ami sticks from Dandelion Tonic. So they're going to hold the head in place. I got to make sure it is even. And it said that the double crochets are at the bottom. So I don't know if maybe he should do the, does the head. Okay. No, not really. I'm trying to look at photos because it doesn't really, again, doesn't really tell me where I'm supposed to sew the head. So I think like that looks pretty pretty good it's even in both sides it has a little bit on the eyes and but this bottom matches up flush with the tentacles which i think is about what we're going for so we're gonna go ahead and sew it on we are in the middle of sewing i'm just here to tell you that i really hate sewing i just really 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 hate it. mommy sticks help a lot but honestly it's just not fun. I feel like every time I try to sew something on, it just never goes where I want it to go. Like I'm like, okay, that's a perfect spot. And then no, it's off center. That is not, that is not correct at all. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. So yeah. Okay, so we are done sewing. I have to make the final knot and then he is all done. Thank you, thank you. I'm so, uh, I'm just, I wanna make something else. I love him so much. He's such a cutie pie, but I just want to make something else and use a yarn other than Bernat Blanket, okay? And we're just gonna cut the last tail off and tuck it in and anchor the Octo is done. Okay, hold on. Let's get Luke in here. Hey, Luke. Yeah. Can you come in here? Yeah. Dude. Come over here. That is awesome. They can't see your face. He's so big. Jack says hi to you. Hello. Do you like this? This is, yeah. It's like handsome Squidward. Yeah, it's like handsome Squidward. <laughs> so yeah, he's all done. Finally. Ooh. Doesn't he look so cute? Hey, he can does. you stay back there and show him? Yes. So you can like, okay, that's a little too far. They can't see it all the way back there. Tell us what he's made out of. He 
is made. What is he made out of? Is it burnt blanket? Yeah. Burnt blanket. What is his name? Anchor. Anchor is made out of burnt blanket, and um, this is a pretty large plushie that you've made here. Yeah. But now, what is the price on something like this? I literally don't even know. Like, it's so hard to even comprehend how long that took me. But at least, like, for time wise, like a hundred dollars. He's not big enough for a hundred dollars. Yeah, you're probably right. So I. That's why I'm just like, I didn't really want to make it for. You should give it away. Yeah. Explain how a giveaway works. I don't really know how a giveaway works. How does a giveaway work? You have to be subscribed. You have to leave a comment on the video. Is there like a specific thing they have to comment, or is it just anything? Anchor is what they have to comment. They have to comment Anchor. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, so Anchor is done. The Octo is done. Now, he did take a significant amount of time. And honestly, I don't really think it's even feasible to sell him because... I don't know. He just, it took so long. The price tag would be so high. He'd be with me forever. And I kind of want him to find a home. So... For all of you guys that have made it to the end of the video, Mr. Anchor is included in a giveaway in this video today. So all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You can give the video a like and comment the word Anchor and you'll be entered in a chance to win him. So I think that's gonna be awesome. He just took me way too long and I just think he deserves to find a really good home because he might be stuck with me for a little too long, so. All right, and that is everything for today's video. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me while we go yarn shopping and crocheting Anchor. He has found a new spot right there until he finds his forever home. But I appreciate you guys hanging out and going yarn shopping and crocheting with me because he probably wouldn't have gotten done because I was getting frustrated for a few times and he probably would have ended up in a whip pile somewhere. So I appreciate you guys holding me a little bit accountable for that. Like I mentioned in the last clip, he is going to be a, in a giveaway. So if you guys want any information on the giveaway, it will be a part of the description below, but you do have until July 10th to enter a giveaway. All you have to do is make sure you are subscribed. You have to like the video and leave a comment saying the word anchor and you guys will be entered into winning him. I think he is amazing. He is perfect. And I really hope that one of you guys are going to win him. I'm so excited for him to find a forever home. But I just want to thank you guys for hanging out and I hope you have a great day. Bye.